big day over here for SWRNC, my friend Pete, DIY Auto School, and everybody that hangs out here because today is the day that we are actually painting the 1969 Mach 1 Mustang. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. I just said? Yep. I can't believe it. It's been close to seven years since we started on this car. Seven fucking years. Seven Swampy was working here. Charlie was working here. All right. Yeah. We've seen tons and tons of employees go in and out of Southwest Rod and Custom. We've seen hundreds and hundreds, thousands of videos made between the yeah. seven years. We made two reality TV shows. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. It's, it's been a long, it long time. I can't believe that, yeah, that this Mustang, uh, you know, we got this Mustang in when my friend Pete basically almost started doing videos. I think I was only into making videos for like a year. Yeah, it's a happy day today. Yeah, let's just get it done. All right, let's go check it out. Let's uh, see what's going on, and hopefully everything's going to be turning out beautiful. And there it is, right there, 1969 Mach 1. This thing came in. It was a, an old junkyard car sitting in a barn for 30 years. Uh, total restoration, total restoration. Um, recorder pan, both quarter panels replaced. I mean, go back in the videos, see what we did to this thing. It's, it's just a monstrosity of a fucking restoration job. I went ahead and painted all the jams and put the car together. Uh, beforehand on this one because these Mustang panels never line up proper and it takes hours to get them to line up even half ass so yeah we did all that we got the black hood already painted now I got that painted with base coat I don't have it clear coated yet so when we get the red paint on there we'll go ahead and pull that off and clear coat everything all at once this is actually the day after Christmas 2016 I was actually gonna paint the car yesterday on Christmas Day but the humidity was so high over here in Dallas, Texas that painting it was not an option because it was so wet and humid out that it really would have uh, took a toll. So we went ahead and waited till today to do it and I'm telling you, this thing's going to be badass, awesomely awesome. So there's our paint ready to go, mixed up. I got two quarts ready to spray. We're going to get this thing painted and when we come back we're going to look at it and see what the fuck is going on with a seven year restoration of a 1967 red Mustang. I'm sorry, what did you say? I thought it was a 69. That's what I said. You said seven. Did I say seven? You said seven. Okay, well, 69. There you go. Red Mustang. Red. Yeah. It's gonna be very red. Yeah. Right there, that is the Mustang that uh, made me a happy camper today, right there. We got three full wet coats of red, three full wet coats of black, and we got three full wet coats of clear coat. I'm sure that the paint or the clear will shrink down uh, within the next several days, but that's okay. Um, I color sand and buff everything that I paint, and you're always gonna get some shrinkage. But look how nice that laid down. That really laid down beautiful, and I mean, it's just an awesome, awesome paint job. This is gonna be an easy buff job. Uh, many fucking years of work in here. Look at the bodywork on that. Uh, the panels are just immaculately straight, immaculately straight. Go back into the video set of watching this Mustang progress from the day that we got it seven years ago, and you're gonna see that uh, 
Yeah, it's been a fucking major situation. Um, this is the candy apple red. This is the 1969 candy apple red that was the OEM factory color on this car. And it's really a, a beautiful color. I'm really shocked that it turned out this bright. So uh, there's really nothing else I can say. All I can say is it's a downhill slide from here because now all we got to do is finish and put them back together. And I believe this thing's going home to where it belongs. And Sharla is really going to be happy about it. This is the way that you want to do these Mustangs. You want to go ahead and bolt everything together, paint all the jams, paint everything. Um, once all that's done, uh, yeah, bolt it all together and paint it while it's as one unit. This really saved us a lot of time. Um, to paint this car with the black on it and all the jams and all the other stuff, and when I say other stuff, I'm talking about these panels right here. We still got to paint the uh, rear valance, the lower valance. We got to paint the uh, front valance right here, inside and out. And then we got a bumper filler panel or grill filler panel right here we got to paint. And then we got the scoop we got to finish out by clear coating it to um, perfection that we need it to be. So everything that you see here, including the car, all the parts, and the car and the paint booth, this, that, and the other, comes out to be a total of just painting. This is just painting a total of five days. It's a five-day paint job just to lay the paint down on a job like this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull that bitch out, and we're going to go ahead and color sand and buff it. And uh, just keep watching SWR and see. DIY Auto School for all your favorite updates on our 69 Mustang and all your favorite videos from my friend Pete. Please subscribe. I need subscribers. If you're a YouTuber and you're watching this channel, do me a square deal and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Um, leave comments. I love comments. If you don't like it, tell us. If you do like it, let me know. Uh, if you see imperfections in it, if you see something that you don't like and something that I should have done, let us know. Let's get some angles going on conversations in the comment section and uh, get her done. We'll see you later. school. Classes don't stop till you know everything.